Welcome to Trivia Night, a shambling homunculus of pain and regret. But it's also a night that has the mantra, live, laugh, love, die. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and it- Okay, you don't like being told how to play, I get it. Let's go. 
First question. Which Girl Scout cookie is covered in chocolate? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your answer is very important. What word is the most fun to say? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Why aren't you hitting send? Are you trying to irritate me? Answering was not optional. You know, it really makes me angry when your refusal to participate reveals certain inherent flaws in my basic game design, so... Please, yeah, don't do that. And here's where everybody's at, because, you know, we don't rank people enough in society. Here's another one. Sarah Koenig is the host of which podcast? One. The rest of you who are still alive, I have a surprise for you! Welcome back to the killing floor! We're going to play chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. It goes without saying if you drink from a poison chalice, there are consequences. No pressure. This isn't rocket science. Good stuff. Now let's see what everyone drank. This is gonna hurt. See, I wasn't joking when I said I'd kill you. I just totally killed you. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghost still gets to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. Another peek at those scores. Alright, next question. What word refers to a citizen of Moscow? And the correct answer is... This. Only a ghost got it wrong. Very good. Let's try another one. In baseball, what position does the number three represent? said this one <laughs> everyone is wrong prepare for your punishment let's test your memory memorize the pattern
Alright, let's put these away. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? Last place will feel the pattern of my knife. Remember this? How did you do? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Next question. TV's Mr. Rogers was an ordained minister in what religion? Darn, this is such a mess. I'm going to need everyone's help. This piece of art has blood all over it. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testy. Stop second guessing your pattern and send it in. Here's that arc again, and here's what you did. Well, let's see if that's enough. Great! Now I'm gonna stress eat. Let's try another one. Following his death in 1822, Frankenstein author Mary Shelley carried around her dead husband's... answer is this. I want to show you something. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Math alert! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Let's go! Math! 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 Keep going! I believe in you! I wish we could do math all day, but time's almost up! Uh-oh! I know, math is evil, even for me. Good, we're just down to one. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. 
and ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Decisions, decisions. Here's another one. Hawaiian Islands. Time is almost up. are getting close now. Beware of the darkness. Triple crown winners. Anytime today, kiddo. Another one. The Daily Show alumni. Time is almost up. Decisions? A bunch of smart people, huh? Here comes the next question. Carnivorous dinosaurs. Anytime today, kiddo. Countries on the Arabian Peninsula. Time is almost up. This is so exciting! Decisions, decisions. Too slow, so sad. Countries that border China. Oh, this is so close! A real total finish! Accident prayers.
Welcome to Trivia Night. A dark, dark reckoning. You know, like Mom used to make. I wasn't done talking, but whatever. Let's get to it. Okay now, first question. Ugh, I always forget to record it. What channel airs Toddlers and Tiaras in the U.S.? And the correct answer is... Who got it right? Hmm, too easy. I've got more questions for you. Quick shout out to my fellow wordsmiths! Which of these words is worth the most points in Scrabble? One. Which means only you. Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the Kelly Floor. Oh great! You get to spin the loser wheel! Less stalling and more spinning. Spin, spin, spin. Well, aren't you cute? Here's how everyone's doing so far. Higher scores are better than lower scores, FYI. Alright, next question. What are the five consonants in one vowel that contestants receive for the bonus round puzzle on Wheel of Fortune? Running out. <laughs> Who said this one? For the rest of you, I have a surprise for you. Welcome back to the Kelly Floor. Let's have some fun with spelling. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It'll be good to get your fingerprints on some of these letters, too. But the person with the shortest word will be punished. Start poking those letters with your fingers. The letters don't have to touch each other. And remember to press submit when you're done. Let's see what you could come up with. Brace yourself. that scoreboard again. I made it pretty clear what this was the first time, right? Uh, I think I'm over explaining. Let's try this again. Which foul-mouthed comedian hosted the kids show Thomas and Friends? answer is this. The rest of you, prepare for your punishment. Let's play the finger cutting game. I want your digits. <laughs> Just some light humor. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's the opposite of difficult. Commence cutting. Is it weird that I just love fingers? I guess anyone would say the same thing. How about this? 
What magical land did Teddy Ruxpin come from? And the correct answer is... This one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. You're in for a treat. Wow, look at this big enticing pile of cash just sitting here. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. But hey, don't worry. Just talk it out with your friends and trust them. I'm sure it'll all work out. Do something, and now, the moment of truth. Sometimes betrayal is totally worth it. Aww, I'm gonna enjoy this. Next question. I hope you keep up with politics. Which dignitary introduced the Puppy Bowl in 2014? Play a game. Good news! It's fighting time! You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Make your choices. And hey, try to have fun out there. Falling and more falling. These are the moments I live for, people. Kill, slice, and dice. Those cuts don't look serious. Serious enough. Your friends sure don't like you very much. Only one player left alive. Just how I like it. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Western African countries. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Can you stay out of the shadows? Mushrooms. Now can you play with me? 
forever? Go chug the comedy members. Before the others catch you, the darkness approaches. And with three members. Time is almost up. Twelve Apostles of Jesus. So much blood! The shadows are coming. Star Trek film titles.
Data collection, Agent Warren. No, we're data collection. We need the main office in Washington. Hey, Brian, did you get those requisition forms I put on your desk? Yeah, everything should be processed in a day or so. I'll let the agents know. And you saw that request from Agent Harris? I'm sorry, who? Agent Harris, you know, works in the Caribbean sector, wears a... The, the dolphin. You're talking about a dolphin. Yeah. How does a dolphin fill out requisition forms? They're probably transcribed. Dolphins can't talk. They're fish. Dolphins aren't fish. You get my point. That dolphins are fish? They're a mammal. I was being metaphorical. That's not a metaphor. Who are you, Mr. Dictionary? Hey, Warren, come here. Brian thinks dolphins are fish. Oh, I hear you. They're mammals. I know that. Then why'd you say it? He thinks it's a metaphor. What? You two think it's a bigger deal that I said dolphins are fish than the fact that a dolphin is a field agent sending in requisition forms. Yeah. He can't send in forms. He can't talk. He's not a real agent. Harris is a she. I'm transferring to ATF. Foolish humans. Attention field agents, the following nicknames have already been taken. Falcon, Viper, All right. Little Pumpkin, Meemaw, Sleepy Pete, Goober, Terry Gross, Cargo Shorts, Chumba Wumba, Spider, Spider with a Y, Clumpy, Demogorgon, the Dark Overlord, and Jonathan. Thanks to our extensive network of surveillance cameras, we can see everything going on in the world. Did you know that Brad Pitt eats a full loaf of bread every morning? The government uses this information for whatever, but we use it to play Espionage. Off we go. First up. All right. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people suck on cough drops even when they don't have sore throats? <laughs> Giving your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Okay, we have a guess. 32%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. I hear you. Breathe it in. Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 41%. Not too shabby. Who said higher? Nice job. I've got some points for you. And what have we here? Ugh, I'm sorry. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Who's next? Breathe it in. And now a question about true mixologists. What percentage of people have used Mountain Dew in a mixed alcoholic drink? Sixty-eight percent. Okay, higher or lower? All right. Unanimous again. And Surveil says... 39%! Try it with tequila. I won't. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. And what have we here? Good job. Double points for saying much lower. Okay, who's up next? Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people have, you know, pooped in the woods? 
70%. Everyone else, higher or lower? All right. Breathe it in. What do you think? Higher or lower? People are saying lower. Okay, right answer is... 48%! Nothing says freedom like wiping your ass with poison ivy. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points! Next up... Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people prefer the Lord of the Rings novels to the Harry Potter novels? You're all 66%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 35%! Terrible guess. You need to be within 30% to even get points. Who got it right? Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? Oh, this is gonna be good. What percentage of people usually try to match their underwear to their outfits? Any time now. 62%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 12%. We suspect those people have OCD, or they believe they might get lucky. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you. Who's next? I hear you. All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people have a collection of bath products they've taken from hotels? <laughs> Time's a-wasting. 78%. Everyone pick, higher or lower. saying higher and the correct answer is 44 percent it starts with tiny hotel shampoo bottles pretty soon it's packets of artificial sweetener after that i'm afraid there's no way back who got it right nice job i've got some points for you uh-oh final round time we faked dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. What kind of store or shop do people most associate with airports? Now let's see the answers. But only the top three answers will get you points. Good luck! All three. 
three of your picks. Let's see what answers you chose. And what are the most popular answers? Who's that special someone? Breathe it in. All right. Congratulations! You seem to know everyone's secrets. Remind me never to cross you. The subliminal messaging worked! You're back for another game of... Gespionage! Okay, who's first? We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people usually correct those who misquote lines from movies? an answer 42 percent everyone else now it's your turn do you think the correct answer is higher or lower you can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15 percent or more all right breathe it in just one of you is saying higher and the correct answer is percent Ooh, just a few percentage points off. Well done. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? I'm going to search for... What percentage of people usually have friends cut or style their hair? Thirty-eight percent. All right, what do you think? All right. Most of you are saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 16%! And don't think we can't tell. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Next up. Breathe it in. Typey typey. What percentage of people always return to their cars before parking meters expire? Thirty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? I hear you. All right. Just one person says lower. And the correct answer is... 48%! That, my friends, is the definition of anal retentive. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Who's next? 
Why do we refer to them as soft? What percentage of people prefer Coke's family of beverages to Pepsi's or RC's? Seventy percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? All right. Breathe it in. Running out of time. I hear you. Just one of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... Sixty-five percent. I've got big points for that guess. Who got it right? Smart guess. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? All right. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people have entered and finished full 26.2 mile marathons? Twenty-six percent. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Time's running out, higher. The majority say lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 2%! Yeah, forget that. I can't finish watching a round of golf on TV. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Who's next? Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people inside elevators usually attempt to close the door quickly on people racing to catch it instead of holding it open? 40%. Everyone pick, higher or lower. I hear you. All right. Breathe it in. Only one of you thinks it's higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 11%. An interesting metaphor for the immigration debate. Got it right. Ooh, points for you. It's time for the final round. By mining social media, we found the most popular answers to this question. Which musician or music group delivered the best Super Bowl halftime performance? Now let's see the answers. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Ready, go! Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. Okay, let's see what you picked. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answer.
who's going to get the gold star? Who is it, boy? Who is it? It's... Breathe it in. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. You know so much about people, you managed to creep me out. And I do this for a living. All agents, please don't give Agent 13 doggy treats without making him roll over or speak. You'll spoil him. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of General Office Building. Our office is currently closed because, again, we are just a typical office business. If you know your party's extension, enter it now and then explain to us how you got that intel. We only need to know for regular office reasons, nothing else. Please leave a message at the beep because we certainly haven't been recording you this whole time. Did we ever get those results about whether cult members like chunky or smooth peanut butter? No, all of our field agents keep getting discovered.
Welcome to the game. I'm Schmitty, but please don't tell my parole officer I'm here. A mysterious old woman told me I'd meet a group of strangers who would change my life. So keep an eye out for those guys. In the meantime, why don't we play? Here's round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious or not for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go. Let's take a look. Starting us off, the hardest class you can take at Clown College. Okay, select your favorite quip. a new baby's nursery wall. Get to voting. title in the Magic School Bus series. The Magic School Bus goes to blank. Put in your votes. I'm telling Lily Tomlin you wrote this. Next in line, a little known but fun moment at the Last Supper was when blank. Vote now. solitary confinement so it doesn't sound so bad. Time to vote. results when you search for blank. Okay, vote.
That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Think of something. <laughs> These better be good. Prompt number one is the hardest part of living forever. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Cocktail that ends in teeny. Ready, set, vote. is weird advice from your grandfather don't take any wooden blank vote on your devices recommend after playing a One Direction song. It's voting time. that would never sell is the Honda Blank. And vote. Next one, the worst song to lose your virginity to. 
Float away. You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. <laughs> round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Complete this comic. Let's see those quips. It's round three, so you've got three medals to award. A gold, a silver, and a bronze. Make your picks. Suspense is killing me. Let's see who got those medals. Bronze first. Show me the silver. And the gold. Let's translate that into points. And we're finished. Show me those final scores.
This is Quiplash. I'm Schmitty. I hope that's okay. I've already come up with a mnemonic to remember all your names, and it is filthy. Let's get started. Time for round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go!
Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. Time to share. Our first prompt is a line you wouldn't expect to see from a message in a bottle. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next one, who is currently the 5,492nd ranked player in professional tennis? Vote on your devices. Next on deck, first draft movie line, frankly my dear, I blank. Ready, set, vote. Moving on, the three things that make up old person smell. And vote. Your next prompt is, in the future, robots will do everything for us, except blank. Okay, vote. Next prompt, the name of a very proper and discreet cable channel for adults. It's voting time. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> on to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say.
blocks running out. Think fast or use a safety quip. Cards on the table. First up, the last place you want to see Willem Dafoe's face. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Moving on, a bad way to start your valedictorian speech would be, ladies and gentlemen, I blank. Get to voting. Moving on, a good joke to say while you're tied up in a basement. Vote now. Next one, this just in, in a stunning move, Bill Nye the science guy has given up his signature bow tie and instead will now wear blank. Put in your votes. Your next prompt is, what Twinkies should be filled with? And next, the Eiffel Tower would be a lot cooler if it had blank. Time to vote. That's all she wrote for round two. Let's check the scores. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. There's just one prompt and you're all getting it. Complete this word lash task.
All right, brace yourselves. Award your medals. Okay, let's bring out those medals. Let's see what the medals to points exchange rate is these days. All right, that's it. Time for the final scores. Schmitty, listen, I slept on my neck funny again, but don't worry, I'm good to host the game. Ow, ow. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm sensing a lot of repressed anger in this group, mostly from me. So everybody back off and let's start the game. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it.
Time's running out. Use a safety clip if you need it. Okay, moment of truth. Number one on the list, Blank, a new fragrance by Gerard Depardieu. Okay, vote for your favorite. up next, a rejected section of the King James Bible, the part where Jesus blank. Vote now. Next on the list, a Yelp review a millennial would leave about World War II. It's voting time. Next, warning, never put blank into a crock pot. Vote away. Next in line, a bad line to have on your business card. Ready, set, vote! is breaking news scientists have just discovered nature's fiercest creature the blank shark get to voting Round one's done. Let's see who's in the lead. <laughs> Round two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled.
Hurry up! Use a safety kit if you can't think of anything. Let's take a look. Starting things off, a shocking thing to see digging through your garbage at night. Okay, choose your favorite. question to find on an IQ test. And vote. to yell when you find your first gray hair. Vote on your devices. Next one, you can tell you're on a bad cruise when the captain announces, if you look off the starboard side, you will see blank. Okay, vote. is a political slogan if a bear was running for president. Make America blank again. Put in your votes. one, the worst part about having your human brain living in a robot body. Ready, set, vote. Two's done, let's see who's winning now. And now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Invent the full phrase that goes with this acronym.
let's see the responses. Pick your medal winners now. Okay, who's taking home some medals? Let's melt those medals down for points. That's the game. Let's see the final scores. Schmitty here with your daily dose of quiplash, use as directed. Why, that's enough for a decent rodeo. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Running out, hit fast, or use a safety quip. Okay, remember, this is all your fault. First off, the only things that can survive nuclear war are cockroaches and blank. Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> and next is a text message that Jesus sends at 3 a.m. And vote. Coming up next, the name of a nursery rhyme that's guaranteed to give your kid nightmares. Float away.
next, the worst crime in Middle Earth. Next in line, George Washington's biggest complaint about having wooden teeth. It's voting time. hitting a person in the face makes. <laughs> Round one is behind us. Let's see how you scored. to round two. Remember, all points and bonuses are doubled. something. <laughs> Let's see those quips. First one, what God said when he created the penis. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. something in 98% of all cargo pants pockets. Okay, vote. Talk show. Get to voting. part about being a U.S. president is that every day you must decide blank. Time to vote.
Next on the list, what a moody teen would say to hurt their stepdad, Bigfoot. Vote now. player was a Mortal Kombat character, their special move would be this. Vote on your devices. No more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. Come up with the phrase this acronym stands for. Okay, let's go to the board. Time to give out those medals. Nice, let's see who snagged the medals. Bronze, silver, and now the gold. Great, let me just turn those medals into points for you. We're done, let's see the final scores.
to TKO. I am the Tournament Master, and according to the ancient gem on my wrist, I've walked 1,400 steps today. I brought you all here to T-Shirt Island because one of you is a murderer. Just kidding, it's to make T-Shirts. Your journey to victory begins here, at the training ground. You will use your device to draw three drawings. Draw something cute, something gross, something funny. Honestly, I don't care what you draw, but if you need help, hit the suggestion button. It's time for your first drawing, right now. Only seconds remain. Not decent enough, but a bit traditional. At this time, try changing your shirt color with the little tabs at the bottom. On to drawing number two. Make haste before time runs out! One drawing to go, let your freak flag fly, man! Begin!
Good, good. Pretty good. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Something really clever or really dumb. I'm sure anything you write will be one of those. And there's no shame in hitting the suggestion button if you need it. Go! You didn't give up after one, did you? Keep writing! Time is about to expire. You may want to finish up. All right, then. Enough training. Direct your attention to your device. The fates have blessed you with a series of pictures and slogans. Select one of each to create your t-shirt champion. I don't want to pressure you, but a lot is riding on this. Nicely done! Our combatants are ready. Let the tournament begin! Gauntlet 1 Versus Fight! Using your devices to vote. A new challenger appears. Attack! Versus Battle. Are you ki- I should have a bee? A new challenger appears. Fight each other! Winners! I think we could all use a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. 
Make them count. Go! Begin writing. Time is about to expire, you may want to finish up. As we approach the second gauntlet, the cruel winds of chance have switched around your drawings and slogans. Create your deadly t-shirt warrior. I've got a good feeling about this batch. Gauntlet 2. Versus. Yes, yes, Bye. they can. Up to eight players in a game. On the first battle, fine, I'll choose. Oh, a new challenger appears. Attack! One another in violence. 
Capture talent. A new challenger appears. I want you to fight. Winners! We are poised to enter the final gauntlet. Only the greatest t-shirts from the previous rounds are eligible. Prepare to vote one last time. Versus... Battle! Versus Engage in an altercation Totality. I did not draw the one on the left. We have a champion. I think we all learned a lot here today. About t-shirts and about ourselves. Oh, I love you guys.
You guys really can't hear me on the phone, huh? Ha, ha, ha. 